Hello, Andrew here. I was just about to head out to the gym and work out, but I wanted to update you on a scene I've been working on for the Bin Lose Lockers series. I wish I, I want to eventually do a more formal, like detailed version of uh, the scene and break it down and hire someone to do some storyboards. But essentially what happens is this rescue mission in the beginning of the episode, in the pilot episode, where this North Korean terrorist guy ter uh, basically kidnaps these um, foreign exchange students in South Korea. And uh, one of them is the prime minister of the UK's niece, right? And then the other one is the son to the CTO of this... Um, biotech mega corporation in the United States and uh, the terrorist guy is like holding them for ransom threatening to kill them uh, if he doesn't get wired a certain amount of money uh, so uh, this scene's really the origin story of Susanna uh, who's the female protagonist and she's this female marine and she's leading this black op team to uh, they pinpointed the location of where this terrorist guy is in North Korea. He's on this land tide island called, I believe it's pronounced Yon, uh, Yon Do. Uh, it's like right off the coast kind of. And so they're heading there on this black op mission in the middle of the night. And it's like super epic. And it's really cool. Cause you know, it's, it takes this story takes place in the near future. And the reason I say origin story is um, this is how Susanna goes from a normal like badass Marine to a female cyborg badass Marine uh, later in the episode. And you, you'll figure out why. Um, I still have to write the boss battle at the end of the scene. But at, at any rate, I'm at the point where they... Um, uh, they basically drop, they have a helicopter, they drop down, you know, have parachutes, and um, they drop down this self-inflating, like, you think it's a boat, but it's actually a hovercraft, and um, it's really, really cool because it's in the near future, so it's super quiet, and just barely, you know, brisking the water, and um, they, they get really close to the dock on the island, and then they raise it up even higher, and it's just slowly levitating above the water, barely making a sound. And they snipe out all the guards on the dock and shit. And then what happens, which is really exciting, is they um, have the, the they bring aboard this robot mule that carries some of their supplies, and they head to this factory, this abandoned factory in the island, um, where a couple, a few guards are guarding it and uh, uh, guarding the entrance rather there's these two guards and it, it, it's great so they sneak in and they go inside the uh, they use this before they go in they throw this drone that's like a like literally like a size of a smartphone or something and it you know throw it and it scans the with thermal imaging the building and it says no one's in the lobby. So they go in the lobby and then in the side of the lobby, there's this windowed room and they go, you know, check it out and they see that there's like all this weird, like modern lab equipment and they find these, uh, like, um, you know, like in that world, like modern bionic prosthetic, like, limbs and stuff and like wait where, where where did north korea get this stuff where did the, these guys get it this is really really cool it's gonna be really hot um and and then they they um figure out that you know through uh because they also have thermal imaging on their binoculars so one of the marines is like okay yeah all the hostages are are uh in this basement and they're not moving. They're like sitting down. It looks like they're watching something on a TV. And we, uh, I just saw someone move. That has to be the kidnapper. 
and then they go spring into action and they go in the basement and they hear all these weird sounds. So it's gonna be really cool. I don't want to spoil it for you. Uh, you'll love it though. You, you, when what happens next, you're gonna be like, what? Uh, kind of like the opening scene in the Matrix, the first Matrix film, where you think it's like this one thing, and then with the whole thing with Trinity, and then she's leaping off buildings, and you're like, wait, what? And then the, and then she's do doing the hand. Remember the hand on the phone booth before she gets smashed or we think she gets smashed, but then there's no body. It's going to be like that. It's going to be a lot of what the, what the fuck. So enjoy. Well, when it's out, enjoy it.